Hey, this is Aaron Linsdow, Polar Explorer and Motivational Speaker. Right now we're at Dornan's in Grand Teton National Park, and I want to show you around a little semi-secret location with the traffic behind me, where you can restock, resupply, have some good grub, and enjoy some views. Dornan's is a good stopping point or starting point when you come into Grand Teton National Park. You can get gas, supplies, get a fishing license, hook up with some gear, just about everything here. So what I'm going to do is just tour you around. I'm going to run around. I'm going to kind of have a tripod because it's kind of a parking lot. So I'll just uh, run around and show you what it's like and uh, talk about it here. Give you any idea what so the first things you come to right here are the Snake River Angler Fly Shop where you can uh, hook up with all sorts of gear. Uh, now that it's off season in September, they're starting to power down, but one of the nice things they have is uh, give you the cubic foot flow of the rivers to tell you like oh, how crazy things are going and what's going on here. This is important because when the river is flowing too fast, it's really hard to catch fish. So once the flow calms down, this is much easier. But these are really help you determine, uh, these uh, numbers really help you determine where you might go fishing. So we'll uh, march on here. And unfortunately, it's closed right now. I'm not going to go in a shop anyway. But mostly, uh, so <clears throat> mostly mountaineering, they're uh, emptied for the season. They're closed. But... They are run by Skinny Skis in the town of Jackson. And uh, they have a bunch of mountaineering supplies. If you forgot a jacket, you need a puffy coat, a sleeping bag, uh, climbing shoes. They, they, they've got a little bit of everything, hence mostly mountaineering. That's a good place to come in and gear up if you forgot anything as you headed into the park. Like, dang, I totally forgot my ice axe or whatever and they actually rent gear so you don't end up having to commit to things so if this is kind of a once in a lifetime big deal no problem and they're closed right now because it's not on the weekend but the action adventure sports they rent out bikes they rent out kayaks you can get all sorts of cool stuff so unless you're Unless you're a hardcore uh, traveler, you probably don't have a canoe on you, but you can actually come here and rent a canoe or a kayak or a stand-up paddleboard, just about anything. So it's actually pretty nifty. And you might notice the extra large teepee. That's right. A real fake teepee, you know, however that is. So we'll, uh, we'll walk around here. And this is actually in Dornan's in the restaurant. And you can check out the old school cool wagon. And they actually had steel belted radials back then. Get it? Ha ha ha. Yeah, that stuff actually lasts. Wood doesn't last. But you can actually see uh, see what the kind of things they used. And the suspension wasn't very much, so it was a bit bone jarring. Please stay off, but you can definitely check it out. But let's get back on this teepee thing. Because... When you come over here and you order lunch, or breakfast, or dinner, we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment, you can come and actually eat in the teepee. And this thing's huge. This thing's totally huge. Okay. Oh good, nobody in there. <laughs> Normally they have more tables, but it's end of the season, so it's not too super busy. But this is a great place to hide out when it's a little bit breezy. And it's a unique experience too. Makes it kind of fun. But Dornan's here, they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you can see people lining up. All right. And uh, one of the cool secrets, bum, 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 local secret, is if you come here for breakfast, they've got an unlimited pancake, sourdough pancake, bacon, egg sort of thing. I think it's just unlimited pancakes. Holy crud. Uh, one of the tricks though is when you come here they might serve you only two or three pancakes and if you want the unlimited you gotta just like double and triple order and get them going because it takes them a few to work because it uh, well, sometimes they get super overloaded so it makes it a little bit tough but that's definitely the local secret is that uh, breakfast because 
you might notice the, oh, I don't know, spectacular view in the jet flying overhead. So if ever you wanted to eat breakfast in one of the most beautiful places in America, this is it. Now, depending on the weather, like right now all the folks are out, it's a little bit cool. But they also have an enclosed space here. I'll walk in just to show you. I mean, it's just a outside room. But you come in here and they've got the little heaters, but one of the cool things is that during the summer, they do a little hoot nanny action here. Uh, sometimes it's in here, other times it's across the way. I'll show you in a moment. But uh, the very famous Bill Briggs, the very first guy to ski the Grand Teton, sometimes they'll play here and they, they come up and you can see what it's like to be in front of a, a crowd. So it's kind of fun. So if you want the cool park experience, we have a more, I wouldn't say super restauranty food, but that's the way to go. They used to do the truck wagon, I'll walk over and show you, but unfortunately Mr. Dornan decided that, uh, or maybe the accountant decided, but said, you know, this is getting too expensive. People aren't willing to pay whatever, 25 or $30 for the truck wagon. Maybe he'll start it again, you know, you never know. But you come around here, and they'll have a salad bar going. And then the chuck wagon. I know I'm obviously showing you things that are off season, but you gotta work with me here. And they'll, they'll put uh, coals in there and put the cast iron pots and uh, get that going. So this is pretty sweet. And I'll show you <laughs> the, uh, the most important room. So if you've eaten all that food and you've drank a couple drinks, you've had two cups of coffee, you've gone out and photographed, and now what do you do? That's right. So if you come around here, you'll find what we call the necessary. Just around the corner. Sorry for the compressor, but oh, I don't want to look in the bathroom. Don't be weird. But the, uh, the men's and women's restrooms are right there so it's pretty cool nice little place it's it's obviously busy it's a gorgeous day outside uh, late September so the fall colors are really cranking can't complain so let me take you to the uh, other locations here see what we got going and I'll uh, fast forward this part because walking across the parking lot is pretty boring And this is one of the last places you can get gas in the park. You can't actually get gasoline inside Grand Teton. So if you're running low, highly recommend you fill up. You can come into the gift shop because there's always a gift shop. They have all the usual park stuff. Nothing too crazy. I don't know if you can see that in the reflection, sorry. Uh, gift shop stuff, t-shirts, you know, the usual. But then, they've got the... Little deli shop. And this is pretty sweet. You get a fresh made sandwich. Excuse me, buddy. Fresh made sandwich. Oh yeah. All sorts of good stuff in here. But then, this is the one that'll blow you away. Come out the door, come around. And in the summer, there's a coffee barista here. So you can uh, get an idea what the coffees are here. And Bank of Jackson Hole, if you forget your money. But you come in here. Oh, thank you. And check this out. Dornan's, Mr. Dornan loves his wine. And uh, they get to Bourjon. Why Burgundy? Let's see. Uh, they, they got the usual California junk, but you get Italian stuff. Oh, Cote de Rhone. Oh. But that is spectacular. 
Okay. Yeah, French Bordeaux and Rhones, Merlots. I mean, it, this is actually a pretty famous place. I'm going to come into here, and there is the bar with the view. Oh, yeah. And the trick to this place is you come up to the back and you order your food and then you can uh, come out here onto the deck if you want. You can bring the family out on the deck and eat in the sun once the sun comes over and enjoy the view. Sometimes there'll be bear or elk or moose or whatever coming through there. So it's pretty cool. And then there's an upstairs that uh, you got to be 21 to go to, and the restrooms are in the back there. No, I'll show you the deck, but I'm in on Friday afternoon. Man, this place is hopping. Holy schmoly. They do have good beer selection. So I'll, uh, I'll come back here and, pardon me, come back here and I'll show you the deck. Spur Ranch cabins over there. No, oh, boy. This is probably going to be a terrible video, sorry. Oh, there are people up on the deck. Sweet. Yeah, so you do have to be 21 because that's an alcohol zone. But you can go up on the deck there and enjoy. Hi there. <laughs> and enjoy the experience. It's pretty sweet. And then. If you come around here, you can see the other side of Meaner's Ferry. I've got a video about that, so you want to definitely check that out. The Meaner's Ferry Historic District. District meaning very small. But uh, one peculiar thing is this is the only national park with a commercial uh, airport in it. You can come over here to Meaner's Ferry. This is part of the Dornan's experience, so I'll just blend this in. There's the other Meaner's Ferry video, but uh, it's, a lot of people actually don't go down here. I mean, after they, they see the bar and they see the restaurant, uh, the best thing in the restaurant is definitely the pizza. My favorite are the uh, Thor and Static Peak pizzas. They have all sorts of different sizes. I've, I usually get the personal pizza and I can't finish. Oh, there's a snake. Hmm, almost stepped on the snake. Oh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I hate rattlesnakes. That was just a little garter racer snake. <laughs> I'm totally putting that on. Yeah, that's one thing. I hate snakes, so you're going to have to cut the corner on my man card there. Meaner's Fairy. You know, they don't really care about how lime's made, but if you're a hardcore historian, but, uh, huh. It's surprising to see a snake this late in the season. That snake was on the walkway just trying to warm up. I almost stomped on him. Ooh. Good thing I've got boots on. Uh, that's one nice thing about the high Rockies here is no or no rattlesnakes I know of. I know there are timber rattlers up here somewhere, but everybody talks about it. I've never heard of them, never seen them. I've only seen these garter snakes, but if there are garter snakes, chances are there's something more serious. Oh, here we go. So Mr. Meaner actually operated a ferry where you could bring your car on, cross the river, and here's one of the old pontoon boats. Not a lot left of it, as you can see. They've got a recreation over on the other side of the river. Yeah, and definitely not floating nowadays. But um, big old plank wood here, and the design's pretty interesting. I keep telling you about the other video, so you'll just have to work with me on that. And there, there's the uh, recreation. I'll zoom, I'll zoom in here in a minute. But you can actually, uh, back in the day before there was a bridge. Oh no.
you could actually get across the river in Meaner's Ferry. Now, of course, the audio is all messed up on the camera because I didn't notice the uh, the jack was unplugged. Ugh. Oh well, hopefully the video or the audio is not too bad. Well, we'll have to deal with that one. Sometimes it works that way. But you can cross the mighty Snake River here. There you go. And there's the uh, there's a recreation of the ferry over there. Boom, done. Well. Hopefully the audio isn't too junky because I'm definitely not filming this again. <laughs> ah, crud. So this is a good place. I mean, not really a good place here, but the fly fishing on Snake River is definitely legendary. People go all up and down the river. They have their particular favorite spot to do that. And you can see the Grand Teton right behind me. Sweet. Not too bad. So this is the Dornans area. Uh, well worth coming in for food, fuel, supplies, stock up, chatter. Little adult libation, uh, pizza, whatever. It's not too bad. It's a good start or stop into Grand Teton National Park. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer. Please like and comment on my video and subscribe to my channel below. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah.